I was so scared. I wasn't even so much how I looked, it was losing my eyesight. My friend said, look, why don't you go and get a bit of filler under your eyes? You look tired, Lizzie, you're not sleeping. And um, that's what I did, and it was probably one of the biggest regrets of my life. To think if I could have lost my eyesight, you know, I would, it, nothing is more frightening. This is my work, I wouldn't be able to read, I wouldn't be able to work, I wouldn't be able to look after my family. So it was very, very frightening. The filler was put in so close into my eye, I immediately could feel it wasn't right. I got the problem fixed because uh, a friend of mine had had filler in her lip and it had gone really wrong, her lips had gone wrong and this wonderful doctor had put it all right and he said you need to get in ASAP. Literally, um, as soon as I got there he said we have to do this straight away, we have to do dissolve it and get rid of it. I thought, I've got to look good. I was obsessed with looking like nothing was wrong with me and I wasn't, you know, I didn't want anyone to know how sad I was feeling inside. And this was my little quick fix to feel better. What made me stop was a phone call from my mum because I did um, a big shoot that was in one of the celebrity magazines and she said, Lizzie, you do not look like yourself. You look different. What have you done? And I looked and I thought, yeah, I do look different. And I actually stopped. I'm very blessed that I'm okay, but this is a warning to others. Please don't do what I do. And for me, have a bit of self-belief in yourself um, and be happy for what you are and the age you are and be happy and confident. We've, We've had, had our fill. fill. Have you?